My name is Brett Shadwick with DriveLock, and today I want to provide you with an overview of the DriveLock security platform. The DriveLock security platform is made up of several unique modules, device control, application whitelisting, network profile control, full disk encryption, antivirus, web security, and verification and basic system management, inventory, and compliance reporting. The DriveLock security platform is installed on a Windows server with SQL Express installed by default. Full SQL is advised for most enterprise installation. The DriveLock platform includes the ability to remotely scan devices and discover applications and devices that are attached to machines. So you can see detailed information about those endpoints and what transactions are happening on those. We can click into a specific machine and we can see every device that has been attached to that machine. Drives that are connected to those machines, actively or in the past. And a full detail of our machines and where we've generated that information from. We can also kick off updated scans if we wish. So we can fire off a new scan on a machine or a group of machines, and we can bring that information back in real time to the server for reporting. The DriveLock Management Console is a Microsoft MMC console plugin. It allows access via the standard MMC console in all modern Windows versions. DriveLock also installs a pre-customized MMC, as you see here, which has all our shortcuts and everything you need to administer the DriveLock server. We also install the plugin within AD. Uh, so if you open up an MSC console and open up your AD management, you're able to manage your DriveLock policies. The DriveLock server provides a central infrastructure to create and edit policies for all DriveLock modules. The server can distribute policies and integrate into large distributed environments with multiple DriveLock servers. As you can see here, you can see the complete infrastructure of my network. So in this case, I have one central server, but you can, can very easily have multiple servers here with a full distributed architecture allowing you to control everything from one central server and having multiple distribution points within each segment of your network, depending on your configuration. The server can distribute policies and integrate into a very large enterprise environments and also scale down to very small environments, as you see here in my test environment, with one simple server delivering all central policies. In addition to these features, the DriveLock platform includes the ability to sync events to the cloud for secure, safe, off-premise storage, as required by some compliance frameworks. This is not a requirement, but an optional service that you can log in and allow those events to be stored in an off-premise location. This helps uh, meeting compliance frameworks that require this or just having a safe storage of those events uh, should something disastrous happen to your DriveLock server or to a, the location where your DriveLock server stores is stored. The use of the cloud infrastructure has increased around the world exponentially and in some cases is the preferred method of delivery so DriveLock has a world-class cloud offering in place, providing all the previously mentioned features delivered directly from the cloud. Most customers in security are still going to choose on-premise solutions. But DriveLock has invested in the future and is innovating and creating a cloud offering uh, should that be the best, uh, the best route for your organization. Lastly. DriveLock provides a comprehensive solution for forensic analysis, allowing you to dig into events on machines, devices, malware infestations, application executions, so you can understand what's happening on your endpoints, where malware is coming from, where vulnerabilities exist, where devices are being attached, where data is disappearing to. And so we have pre-built forensic filters that allow you to dig into that information and look at those events. So for example, we can see what kind of devices have been attached to our machines. So we're able to see here the different device classes. We have an HID device, a keyboard mouse type device. We have an iPhone that's been connected. Say we want to dig into that iPhone event. 
So we can simply right click on it and we can select and we can find out well, what user has connected that iPhone. And now we see here Brett's connected that and we see the associated SID with that login. So if we want to dig into that further and find out where did Brett connect that device to, we can dig into that by selecting computers here and we can find out what machine he actually connected that device to. And that's great information, but let's say Let's find out how many times did he connect that device. So we can take a look at those specific events and we can understand exactly what's happening and when those were connected. So we can see there's three events that were generated by that. And this is just one example of some of the forensics that we can actually do here. So we can drive down into the whitelisting. Applications have been executed. We can look at specific machines. So we can understand what executions are happening on those endpoints. So we're looking at files here. Then we can see what files are being executed, what files are being brought in or out outside the network, into the network, and so on. Thank you for joining me today.